All right, it is Saturday, March 2nd, 2019 at 12, 11 p.m. Let's take a look at the weather. We have Winter Storm Scott to spread swath of snow from California Sierra to the Plains, Midwest, and Northeast this weekend. Winter Storm Scott is already bringing heavy snow to the Sierra and parts of the Rockies. Snow will spread into the Plains and mid-Mississippi and Ohio Valley through Saturday night. Sunday, a swath of heavy snow will spread into the Northeast. Winter Storm watches are in effect from the Appalachians to Maine. Winter Storm Scott has already arrived in parts of the West and will spread its expansive swath of snow across the Plains, Ohio Valley, and Northeast this first weekend in March, potentially including some East Coast cities that have been relatively little snow recently. Snow and low elevation rain is once again falling in California, piling the snow fatigue Sierra Nevada mountains. Snow is also falling in parts of northern Utah, including Salt Lake City metro area, and to southern Wyoming, parts of Colorado, and western Nebraska. Cheyenne and Wyoming have picked up just over 2 inches of snow, and Fort Collins, Colorado measures 4 inches of snow early Saturday morning. Winter storm warnings are in effect for parts of the Sierra, Colorado, and northern New Mexico high country, southern Wyoming, and much of Kansas. There are areas where the worst winter weather is expected this weekend, including the likelihood of dangerous winter weather driving conditions. The National Weather Service has issued a number of winter weather advisories in other parts of the Great Basins and Plains, from South Dakota to Oklahoma to northwest Arkansas, Missouri, and southern Illinois, including Denver, Oklahoma, Oklahoma City, Kansas City, and St. Louis. Here are the winter alerts. Cheyenne, Denver, Hayes, Wichita, Oklahoma City, Kansas, and St. Louis. And the east winter storm watches have been issued for an expensive swath from the Appalachians to Maine, including Boston, Hartford, Providence, and parts of New York City, Philadelphia, and Baltimore metro areas. Winter Storm Scott was named late Friday afternoon with expectation that naming criteria, the winter storm warnings for, uh, for 2 million people or for 400,000 square kilometers will be met during the weekend. Snow will stretch from the Sierra across the Great Basin into parts of the Central Plains, then spread east to the mid-Mississippi and lower Ohio valleys during the evening and overnight hours. On the southern fringe of that snow, there could be a narrow zone of sleet and free freezing rain from the Texas Panhandle eastward into parts of Oklahoma beginning late Saturday evening. Winds are expected to increase by Saturday night in the plains, which could lead to more blowing and drifting snow in some areas. Temperatures will also plummet behind the system as the coldest March air masses in several years plunges into the plains and Midwest. Snow will spread eastward from the Ozarks to the Ohio Valley on Sunday and mid-Atlantic states by Sunday afternoon. This snow will then overspread most of the rest of the northeast Sunday night, lingering in parts of New England early Monday. The, driving li the dividing line between rain and snow still remains somewhat uncertain, depending on the exact track of surface low pressure in the east late Sunday. However, the trend in forecast guidance has been to track the, the low further south than just off the east coast, which has suppressed any rain further south and raised the potential snowfall forecast for parts of the Interstate 95 corridor. So here is a Sunday outlook with rain, a mix of ice and snow. The system will not be as wet as the last couple of systems and will likely only bring less than an inch of rain uh, to most of California, parts of central California, coastal ranges, and the Sierra foothills may see more than an inch of rain, however. In the higher elevations, one or two feet of snow is likely in the central and southern Sierra, while the high country of Nevada, Utah's Wausau, and central Rockies may measure 5 to 18 inches of snow, depending on the elevation. Parts of the plains in southeast Wyoming, eastern Colorado, western, and central Kansas have a good chance of picking up, picking up at least 5 inches of snow.
Light to moderate snowfalls are expected in the mid-Mississippi and Ohio valleys. As mentioned earlier, due to the still somewhat uncertain northeast surface low track, this, the swath of heaviest snow is in the northeast is still subject for a bit of change. General, generally speaking, a swath of at least 6 inches of snow is possible from the mountains of West Virginia and Shenandoah Valley near just north of the Interstate 95 northeast corridor uh, from north of Washington, D.C. to coastal Maine. Some light accumulation and sleet ice are possible in part of Oklahoma and also from the central Appalachians to coastal Maine before precipitation changes um, to snow in the northeast. The forecast may still change, so check back frequently for the latest forecasts and updates. You see here, snowfall forecast through Monday a.m. <clears throat> from Wichita all the way up to Boston, all the way through the... Um, northeast so we gotta stay aware of that snow coming in here is the 120 hour forecast of where the snow is going to be accumulating you see here going from california all the way to the midwest and parts of the northeast all right let's take a look at the national weather service there's winter storm warnings for southwestern kansas for parts of northeastern Colorado and southwestern Wyoming and western Nebraska and for parts of north central California. There's also winter weather advisories for northeastern Colorado, eastern Oklahoma, Arkansas, northwestern Missouri, California, western Nevada, and uh, northern and northeastern Nevada. There is also Winter weather advisory for Washington, D.C., Central Maryland. This is basically the area that's supposed to be getting the snow all the way up of northern Maine through um, New England areas and parts of central Pennsylvania. Let's take a look at the full screen radar right now. There is a, a bit of rain going from uh, below in the Gulf of, of New Orleans all the way across Florida, Jacksonville area. There is also rain and snow mix around Reno. Sacramento, Vegas area, there's rain, there is snow uh, near Omaha and Sioux City and Lincoln, and also close to Toronto, Rochester, and Buffalo, a uh, bit of snow there. Also some snow near Providence in Boston and the New England area. All right, let's take a look at the current temperatures. Montana, negative 27, negative 17, that is quite cold up there. The Midwest right now, um, where the polar vortex usually comes down, is kind of below the negative 12s and negative 2s up here in the northern Midwest. Washington has 35 degrees. California has 47, 50, 55, and 54 degrees. Texas has 31 and 32 in the northwestern part. And 66, 59, and 39 on the eastern side. Louisiana has 67 and 47 degrees. Florida has 72, 67, 77, and 80 degrees closer to Miami. Georgia has 56 degrees. South Carolina has 71 degrees. North Carolina has 45, 48, and 47 degrees. Virginia has 46 degrees. Massachusetts has 32 degrees, Vermont has 23 degrees, and Maine on the northern part has 19 and 29 degrees in the southern part of Maine. Alright, so guys, stay safe out there. There's going to be a bit of snow and precipitation coming through with Winter Storm Scott. But as the previous storms, just make sure you have enough food. Um, if you live in areas which are prone to having power outages, be prepared uh, with your supplies and know, you know, from previous storms, you should know uh, the areas that have this. So stay aware, stay prepared, visit on your elderly neighbors if they need help, and stay safe out there, guys. God bless. See you next time.